What's up, YouTube? Got something different for you today. Hopefully, you guys like it. We'll go ahead and get into this. Um, I stack, or not really stack, but I collect coins from different parts of the world just kind of as a hobby, and that's kind of what led into me getting into silver stacking. So, wanted to share that with you. That one's from, I believe it's Singapore. Pretty neat little coin. Got a hole in it. All right. I got these. These are from Africa. Didn't pay any extra. I actually have no idea where I found them or where I got them from. They just happen to be in my little uh, treasure box that I've been hanging on to all these years. But African currency is pretty neat. And then I got these from the Bahamas. My old man used to work out there. Um, I think Silver Future just did a video where he got one of these coins in a trade from uh, mostly outdoors. Um, I personally enjoy firearms, so uh, his channel's pretty interesting to me as well. But, you know, some pretty cool stuff in here. And, of course, they do have some dollar currency, or I don't know, they have their own fiat currency. Well, that's kind of cool, huh? Those look like nice guys right there. And then... These are from Hong Kong. This one's kind of cool. It's like plastic. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like it doesn't bend or anything. Uh, and I imagine it's probably pretty hard to counterfeit. Don't get fooled, a hundred bucks is only like ten bucks over there. I wish it was more. It's kind of a bigger version of that Bahamas coin. You know, the jagged edges. Me and my dumbass friends used to play a game called Bloody Knuckles where you would try and make the coin spin, and whoever was the last one to flick it before it falls down has to get the coin flicked at the end of their knuckles. And that's what stupid ass high school kids do. Myself included. Alright. These are from the Philippines, also not worth very much, and I have tons and tons and tons of these coins. They're kind of cool, you know, just something different, and uh, if I ever end up in the Philippines, I'll be able to have some... Uh, pocket money to blow through. Alright, moving right along here. I bet you guys haven't seen this one in a long time. Maybe our friends across the pond have. Uh, I believe there's a guy named Shadowstack who's over in the UK and a few other channels that I've seen around, but look at this. It's a pound. A old British pound before the Euro ever existed. And these ones actually might be making a comeback, so uh, something to keep an eye out for. Uh, my other Euro coin or European coins, this one's Italian. It's actually a pretty nice looking, looking coin. Looks good. I like it. And then that's from España, Spain. And then I did get some Euros. A lot of this stuff comes through my work. Um, you know, so I'll pocket those when I get a chance. Sometimes I get tipped in foreign currency and I kind of just hang on to it. Um, you know, if it loses value, it loses value, whatever. All paper money does. That's why I stack gold and silver and that's why you're probably watching my channel to begin with. These are my pesos. I don't ever go to Mexico. I live in California and I still don't go to Mexico. Um, there's like cartels and shit over there right now, and there's some El Chapo guy that apparently got out of jail, and so I'm gonna avoid that. Um, I have family in Canada, and I busted this $2 bill out that my grandpa gave me years ago. Rest in peace, grandpa. He was a good man. Um, but anyways, they told me when they saw this, they're like, what the hell are you doing? Don't ever spend that. That's freaking awesome. Apparently they don't use this anymore. Uh, I believe this is what they call a toonie. I don't know. If anybody knows anything about that, it's kind of cool. Um, just having stuff that's not in circulation anymore. 
And I got this thing, it's just a medallion. There's no gold or silver in it. It's from Australia. The Royal Australian Mint, which as far as I know, isn't doing a whole lot of business these days because the Perth Mint has everything on lock. Um, I keep all my $2 bills. There's probably no need for it. I guess some of the older ones I got from like the 1970s and stuff. That one was signed by the Harlem Globetrotters. That's kind of neat. Just kind of something silly to hang on to. Uh, I know $2 bills aren't worth shit, so it's just kind of something I do. And then I don't know if anybody knows about these little like star notes. I'm not sure if that actually even has a lot of value, but um, just something that I've kind of hung on to through the years. And then I wanted to show you what kind of with my roots of investing and stacking and stuff was actually U.S. currency. Um, my oldest wheat penny is a 1922, uh, and I have a bunch in the 30s and 40s. Um, I don't know anything about key dates or anything like that, so if anybody uh, has anything specific that they're looking for, I mean, hit me up. I'm certainly down to trade. These are bicentennial quarters. Again, not worth anything. Just, you know, they're kind of novelty, so I hang on to them. And then I got these Susan B. Anthony's. I pocket those whenever I find them. Um, you know, I don't think they're really worth anything, but, you know, they're just kind of neat. And then I keep all my halves. I do not coin roll hunt. Um, nothing against that. I just don't have time for that. Um, these are like the bicentennial halves. And then the rest of them are just regular Kennedys. Anything with silver in it is in a different safe that is not here. And then I was at a gas station out in the middle of like on the way to Vegas or something and uh, they gave me change with these Eisenhowers. These are freaking awesome. I you just you just don't see these. And they have a couple different backs on them. Um, yeah, I got a big pile of these. Um, all of this isn't really you know, investments and stuff, and really it's actually probably all just losing value while I uh, have it sitting in my little treasure box right there. Um, but if anybody knows anything about any of these coins or any of these dollars or um, is interested in seeing anything a little more in the stack, feel free to shoot me a message. It's investorcollectorprotector at gmail.com. Uh, but just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you very much for checking out the content. Uh, if you have anything cool that you collect, you know, besides gold and silver, um, you know, let us know. Make a video. Let's see it. ICP. We'll see you guys.